Hey guys, what's going on? Welcome back to Worship Gunner 2 on Order's Path. And as you saw, I clipped it right in the beginning there. We got Silver Swan Rank 2 while I was farming for Fusion Reactor 3. So let's go take a look at R&D. And I've already looked at this, so it's sad, sad news. But indeed, whoops, indeed, we do not have our AGS gun research. But I discovered that the way to unlock AGS gun research is actually to beat... Brown's survival mode. So we'll be doing that in a live stream. Let's see, this is going to go up on Thursday, so the live stream will be... Let's see, the live stream should be the day after this episode comes out at about 3.30ish uh, p.m. Eastern Time. So hope to see you guys there. We're going to try and stream, uh, and hopefully if uh, all goes well, we can make sure that the stream actually uploads to YouTube like it's supposed to. So, yeah, okay. Um, engines. I did get a single Fusion Reactor 3, and as you can see, I've already come in here and begun researching it. That was indeed what we needed to open up this tree, and 450,000 worth it. And Fusion Reactor 4, 937,000. You know, we're not spending a lot of money on a lot of things, so absolutely worth it. Alright, we got some new Fusion Reactors to go and have fun with. Um... And, uh, yeah, let's go, let's go do it. Let's uh, begin by testing this on the Camargo Gamer here. And as you can see, I have already gone back to our old configuration of having a wave gun on the front, and I've uh, taken off the Fame Multiplexer, and I put on our nice Enigma Tech... I think this is Joda? Oh, Sita. It's Sita. Enigma Tech Sita. So we put that back on there again, because it is a very nice system. And now what we are going to do is we're just going to remove everything. Everything? Yes, everything. Why are we going to remove Everetang? Well, because we're going with fusion reactors now. And I remember I used to do... Whoopsies. Well, uh, we're going to have to move these out a little bit or move them somewhere else. What I used to do would be to have six fusion reactors on any given ship. And, okay, yep, yeah, that will work. So we'll just get rid of these. Ah, come on. Azrocks here in the middle. And I have a plan here. What we are going to do is this. This gets them out of the way. Okay. Engines. I used to try to have six fusion reactors on any given ship. Well, on a twin hold battleship at least. So let's see if I can pull that off. And we can go one, two, three, four, five, six. No, we're not going to get that many. Let's uh, go for five, but let's we got to stick the turbines in here still. And of course, they're going to be heavy. So let's see what we got here. We got a one and a two. Oh, they're not so heavy. They're pretty light, actually. And a three. That's 68 knots, so it's actually a little bit faster than we were going before. And then if I wanted to have another one of these, I'd have to get rid of something. Oh, never mind. Aha! And this is the magical power of fusion reactors. They're awesome. Um, so let's see. One of these guys weighs 900 tons, whereas one of these guys... Oh my god. Now here's the question. Am I willing to get rid of this and stick on two more of these? If it can work... Oh yeah, I'm totally willing to do that. Hell yeah, okay. So, uh, I would like to put something in there, though, so it doesn't just look like a giant hole in the center of our deck. Uh, okay, let's do some bridge comparisons here. 22 radar, I'm not so worried about the command. The radar is something I would like to investigate, though. Um, let's see if I have a better one than 22 radar. I doubt it. But, yeah, no. Nope. I was kind of hoping this one would have... No, wait. the This one would have better radar, but no. Not even close. Alright. Well, what can we do to fill in that hole in the middle? Man, I just don't like how that looks. Yeah, well, whatever. We'll be fine. We'll just deal with it. Uh, I can condense this a little bit, and actually that will help. In fact, okay, here we go. Let's try some of this. Uh, I can condense this wave gun to the m closer to the actual center of the ship which will help to condense the weight, the armor uh, distribution a little bit. So let's put these guys up whoops, there, and we'll put these chaff, stick these chaff right in the middle here, That'll, that's one option. 
like this. And we will put this guy up here, make that nice and symmetrical. And then we'll go ahead and bring this guy back. Uh-huh. Very nice. Oh, wow. Look at that. Oh, I have an idea then. Um, forget what I was doing here in the middle. Let's see. Delete, delete, delete. We'll keep one of these and we'll just set it over here for the time being. Let's, uh... Let's, uh... Oh, the engines, yeah. Hmm. Dang, okay, never mind. I was gonna try and put the other gun back on there. But, okay, yeah. Well, that that works out really nicely in terms of weight. And we're going... So, it's not that much faster. Uh, in terms of weight, we could absolutely afford to get another set of guns on here, so... Freaking... Let's do it, man. Um... Maybe. Ooh. You know what? That might be a little much. That's a little much. Alright, I, I realized not only was it going to be really heavy, but it would push the VP way out again. Well, we are a lot faster. We only had to sacrifice one gun to do it. Not even one pair of guns, but literally just a gun. So, you know what? I'm okay with that. Um, let's fix our aircraft complement as well. We don't really want these guys on here. I was just having them on there to test them. And we've you know done that, so... Huzzah. Uh, Halberd 1s. I could put more of these guys on. I could put another Halberd 4 on. Let's see. These are the, uh, the bomber ones, right? I don't remember. Um, pulse laser particle gun. I think those are the bomber ones. Well, let's go ahead and... Whoops. Let's uh, remove them and find out. Let's just... I want to be sure because I, I cannot keep these things straight. Bomber. Halberd... Okay, they were not... We have Halberd 2s, Massive Blast Bomb. Okay, I would like... Do I want Bombers, though? I want Interceptors, really. It's what I really want here. Okay, yeah. So in that case, we'll just go with the Halberd 4s, then. Which are drastically better than the Halberd 1s. But we'll go with as many of those as we have, and then we'll make the other two into Halberd 1s. There we go. Alright. I don't really need bombers on this thing. I mean, look at all the firepower we have. I don't think that's a problem. <laughs> if we had AGS guns, I'd load up some of the center there with AGS guns, but obviously it's not a thing we got yet. We'll get there someday. All right. Mission 310. This is going to be the fastest mission that you see me do in this entire playthrough. That's a promise. <laughs> Some of you know what's coming. One person actually commented about what's coming last episode. Uh-huh. Hello, Archaeopteryx. This is going to be, uh... Well, it's going to be a little too easy, I think, but... And I'll try not to skip the cutscene. This is, uh... Enjoy it while it lasts. Uh, take a picture. Because it'll last longer than he's about to. As you'll see. I mean, part of me hopes I'm wrong. Ooh, did I turn the difficulty back up? Hmm. I don't know if I did. I put it on normal difficulty to farm A ranks on one of the special missions to get Enigma Tech Kappa. So I might not have put it back on hard yet. I think I forgot to do that. So, whoopsies. There he goes. <laughs> um, I think I gotta put it back on hard, but other than that, I mean, it's fine. We were only... The only two reasons we put it on hard was to make it more interesting and to give us more points. We're done with the points thing now, because we got our goal. Um, and to make it more interesting would not have... I mean, the difference between normal and hard in this case is pretty much negligible. So, you know, would not have made a big deal anyways. But there we go, he's dealt with. Um, oh, you would set a fire. One random little attack. Fire contained. Thank you. Enemy battleship battleship H, man, they're they're pretty soft too. Like battleship H's are the uh, the Schwartz Zondarks of this game, if you know what I mean. And uh, they're they're kind of squishy. Not that I'm complaining, but surprising. Airborne units, attack. Airborne units, attack. Um, I would like. Let's see. I don't know what to expect for ranking here, or for rank rewards. I mean, let's go find out. Okay, we are on 310, EL2, I don't get the S rank because I'm on normal, I think. So the A rank is 
Now the S rank is only as rock too, so no big loss there. Um, let's see. What is that? Oh, parts great. Well, I got my helicopters up, so they'll go for it. Uh, and then this guy has a survivor that I want to go pick up before my choppers waste their time, like this one's about to. Uh, a rank is only cluster SSM launcher three, so not, you know, incredible. Um, rewards are just a bunch of different kinds of missiles, nothing really stand out. But you can, uh, you can find the secret blueprint for the Iowa class here, which would be pretty sweet. There we go, and nothing spectacular out of him. Uh, there's a penguin over there. It seems to be trying to get away. The treasure is Steam Turbine Alpha, but we are, of course, far beyond that. So, you know, we don't really need it either. Parts. Um, do I want to stick around for parts? Not really. I mean, the secret, secret blueprint for the Iowa would be neat, but, uh, eh, eh. Want to get back and maybe have time for another mission, hopefully. Really want to get to Friday and try that stream. Um, I'm hoping. I'm hoping it works like it's supposed to. <laughs> I'll grab this parts crate because it's right there, and then I think there are two more ships down in the south there, at the narrow part of the channel. <clears throat> or maybe they were sunk? I don't know. I guess they were sunk, because I don't see them there, so let's go ahead and Mission withdraw. Complete. Now, let's leave the area. No, I mean, I wouldn't say that, Schultz. After all, they they would have uh, they would have gotten involved in this thing one way or another. Oh wait, am I? Did I fix the difficulty? I guess I put it back on hard. Okay. Well, there's a Azrock two for us. <laughs> Huzzah! I guess. Hey, we got it anyways. I only picked up a couple parts crates, but we got it, so. Neato. I like it. I mean, you're making us fight the toughest battle of all because we have the toughest ship of the whole FF. So, you know, you guys don't need one of them fancy super weapons. Nah, screw those things. We can do this using conventional technology. Good old fashioned 61 centimeter cannons. I mean, sure, we have a wave gun, but I mean, pff, 
it really needs a wave gun these days, right? It's just, you know, friggin' hood ornament, really. <laughs> I mean, you know it's just a hood ornament anyways. I mean, we got rid of it for illumination flares. You know, it's you don't throw away powerful technology for illumination flares, okay? If the wave gun were anything more than a hood ornament, you just wouldn't do that. But that's why it's a hood ornament. You know, you don't need it for anything. It's just, it just looks cool. That's all. And let's go ahead and save. Over oh, not that one, no. Ba, 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 this one, there we go. <clears throat> there we are. Okay. Ooh, ooh, we're kind of close on time. There's more story stuff than I anticipated there. Hmm. Well, we're definitely not doing another mission here tonight. That's uh, that's for sure. I don't have to play around in R&D and, and design a little bit here if we want to do something. Well, the mission itself was real short, but uh, uh, <laughs> um, all the story stuff after took a while. This, this makes me want to make room for an Aegis system, like, just for this mission, because there are a lot of submarines, and I would love to have an Aegis system. Just so I have much less risk of missing any submarines as I go around one by one with the stupid flick mechanic for the Azrocks. Uh, maybe we'll spend some time in design mode doing that, then. Finding a way to, to slap a Aegis system on this thing. Would not be opposed. Okay, well, let's head right over there and do that now. Design. Oh, well, I should probably mention, as I record this video, I'm getting some comments from Dickie Rodriguez about uh, replacing the 61 centimeter guns with AGS guns, and uh, <laughs> that wouldn't be a bad idea, but I wouldn't say replace so much as supplement the 61 centimeter guns with AGS guns, because at the end of the day, I mean, cannons. You know, I mean, I just gotta think for cannons. I think I've made that <laughs> pretty clear. But, um, in all seriousness, I mean, he did also make a good point that it would allow us to get rid of the, whoopsies, to get rid of the firing delay system because we wouldn't need it anymore. And they'd be a lot lighter so we could put heavier armor on the ship. These are all good points. But, 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 but cannons. Man, but cannons. I don't know. We'll think about it, man. Uh, maybe, maybe on another twin hold battleship. Um, but we'll, we'll think about it, man. We'll see. We'll see. How, we'll see what happens here. Uh, speaking of systems, what am I willing to give up here for an Aegis system? Auto reload. No. <laughs> um, EM shield. Honestly, I don't know how much it's helping us, but I feel like I'm gonna be real sorry if I take that off of there. Fire and delay system. Ah. The only option, really, is this. Yeah, we'll do that. And this is, like, literally just for this one mission, because I want Aegis specifically for this mission. So, there we go. Aegis System 3. Alrighty. Armor is at 46. 51. See, that's not... It's not that much more armor. And it's way heavier. It's way heavier. But it's not even that much more am uh, armor. 
I don't know. I don't feel like we need 51 centimeter armor, but you know, it's not a bad idea. But I just, I just like cannons, man. I just like cannons. All right, that'll do it for this episode of Worship Gunner 2 on Warner's Path. Thank you very much for watching. I hope you have enjoyed. I hope you're looking forward to the live stream. I know I am. And as always, hope to see you all in the next video.